All right, I think it's safe to say most people are ready to say, see you later 2020, and they're already looking forward to 2021. That is for sure. A recent Harris Poll survey found that more than 40% of people are making New Year's resolutions this year. That's actually up compared to 35% last year. Many focus on positivity, and of course, there's some finances as well. But as is the case every year, the trick is to keeping to those resolutions. So, so, so to help us all out, we brought in life coach Marlene Boaz, and hello, Marlene. And thank you for joining us. Hey, my pleasure. My pleasure. I feel like every year we sort of set ourselves up to fail. Yeah. And we do. Like we 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 expect like ding of midnight, and then all of a sudden we're going to have willpower that we never had before. Yeah. Is there a better way to think about resolutions? You know that's so true, David. We do do that. We just sort of white knuckle it. We want to do this. And I think rather than a resolution, because like res resolution is sort of really tough and you have to work hard at it, is to think of an intention. Like, what do you intend for this year? And rather than what you're going to do, how you're going to be and how you're going to live. So on our screen right now, we have the difference between a resolution and an intention. And, and under resolution, we try to fix a problem and you have a specific goal. So what is the difference here with intention? So let's say like, you know, I'm going to lose 10 pounds, you know, and I'm going to do it by whenever where an intention might be. It's more it's deeper and more complex and it sort of goes to the value. Now, if you want to lose weight, is it because you want to have a better relationship with food or you want to take care of your health or you want to respect your body? So you, you phrase it that way and you think about it that way. And it's a little deeper and a little broader. And it also hits us on an emotional level, which is more likely to have us be successful. Now, you also talk about how to create these intentions, and it, it really is right. almost sort of have a little meditative time with yourself to really survey and think about where you want the person you want to become, right? That's right. That's right, David. So once again, it's not what you want to do. It's how you want to be and how you want to live in 2021, let's say. So the first thing is to find some quiet time and really reflect. Take a bird's eye view of your life. And, you know, looking back on 2020, we've learned a lot about ourselves. And so where do you feel out of balance? What have you noticed? What do you, what's really become important to you? What drains your energy? Look at all those things. And as you reflect on those, what do you need? What qualities or virtues are missing that you can incorporate into your life that would make life better for you? And you say to almost use that kind of like as your anchor, create a, a mantra to make that as your anchor and your your point that you come back to if you do slip up. That's right. And, and look, you're going to slip up. You're a human being. And, you know, nobody does it perfectly all the time. So if you say like what you were talking about before in the show, I want to really work on maximizing my health and being as healthy as I can be. So every day when you're when you're faced with a challenge or a decision to make, you come back to that. What can I do in this moment that will really add to my health? And that feels different than making a resolution, don't you think? Yeah. No, I really oh, yeah. I think it's a much a much more realistic way of doing it, and also maybe a healthier way. Right. Because you're really thinking about improving yourself. And one of the, the tips that you have that I absolutely love is think about writing yourself a letter to like yourself now to yourself a year from now, right? That's right. And it's sort of like that note to self, which I love, you know, that, that sometimes they have on the CBS show. And so you say, you start, hi, this I'm writing my 2020 self. And as I go into 2021, what I'm, what I'm intending to do, what I'm hoping for, what I'm wishing for is this. And, and throughout this year, what you're going to work on in very broad sort of, um, terms that really talk about what is important to you and your values. So not specifics. Look, we have to be gentle and kind to ourselves. This has been such a hard year mm -hmm. that we don't want to put real tough restrictions, but a gentle self-compassion kindness to ourselves, and that will propel us forward. I really do wonder what intentions, not resolutions, will look like this year, given everything that people have been through. I think that the I yeah. want to lose 10 pounds is, you know, so 2020, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Marlene, we love talking to you, and thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you.
Happy holidays, everyone. Happy New Year. Me too. <gasps> we get yeah. to say that. We can say Happy New Year. Oh I also think writing stuff down, when you write it down, it just makes it feel more real. And it I think does. that's such a good tip. It is. Yeah. And you can look for more help, helpful advice from board certified life coach and regular PTL contributor Marlene Boaz on her website. And we have a link at PittsburghTodayLive.com.